Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning about Euler's second order theorem. Up to now, we have seen that Euler's first order theorem uh, for homogeneous uh, equations uh, in two variables and uh, three variables. Uh, I hope you understood that. If you understand it, it will be easy to understand it. Because same, uh, usi tarah hum isko bhi we will uh, simplify it, we will prove it, and we will uh, solve the question as well. So here, as per the statement of Euler's theorem, सबसे पहले देखते हैं हम, it's again it's telling about the homogeneous function. If z is the function homogeneous function of degree n, uh, where a function is in terms of x and y, then show that x square into del z del square z upon del x square plus two x y del square z upon del x del y plus y square into del square z upon del y square is equal to n into n minus 1 z. If you look it is quite similar to first order uh, theorem, Euler's theorem, but here since it is a second order we have to differentiate it two times that is why the terms has been little changed over here. Now we will start with the proof of it. So, सबसे पहले तो हम z is a homogeneous function of in terms of x and y वो दिया हुआ है. Uh, so, by Euler's theorem, we will apply it, Euler's theorem of first order, since it is a homogeneous function of order n, what we can write it is x into del z by del x plus y into del z by del y, which is equal to n into z. This is, we wrote it by using Euler's first order theorem, which is for two variables. We called it as equation 1. Since it is a second order theorem, we have to differentiate it one more time with respect to x as well as with respect to y. So, first of all uh, this equation we will start differentiating with respect to x. So, for your understanding I will write it here equation 1 again. So, x into del z by del x plus y into del z by del y which is equal to n into z. This is nothing but first order uh, Euler's theorem. This was our equation 1. So, here again I have uh, differentiating one more time I am differentiating with respect to x. So, here by using the chain rule here I will write it by using the chain rule what I we can do it first function as it is x will be as it is. Now, is ka second term ka derivative ho jayega del square z upon del x square plus a second function second term as it is del z by del x as it is are chuka hai or x ka differentiation partial differentiation with respect to x ho jayega 1 simple chain rule I have applied it here for the first term. Similarly, for the second term also I can apply the chain rule. So, what ho jayega ye first term as it is is called del z by del y ka one more time differentiation with respect to x. So, del square z upon del y by del del y into del x or is my right hand side mein n to constant hai waise hi jayega z ka derivative uh, partial differentiation with respect to x del z upon del x. Simply I have used chain rule and differentiated partially with respect to x. So, now if you expand uh, if you just uh, remove this bracket. Uh, so, it will be easy for us. So, I, if I remove this bracket, so it will something become like this. Simply I have removed this bracket for your understanding. n into del z by del x. So, if I will uh, see here del z by del x is there on the left hand side as well as right hand side also. So, I can shift that z del, by, del z by del x term on the right hand side so that I can take something common and simplify it further. So, that is what I have done it here. This RHS side I have shifted del z by del x terms and on the left hand side I have taken the second order terms so that it is easy for simplification. So, from the RHS right hand side del z by del x I took it out common. So, in the bracket it came n minus 1 and this left hand side I kept it as it is. So, this is uh, something after differentiating with respect to x we got it. I have written this equation one more time so that you will understand it uh, clearly. 
If you look at the proof, uh, what is there for Euler's theorem, they are saying x square into del z square upon del x square, y square into del square z upon del y by del x. They are looking for the square terms. So, that is why I am multiplying this whole equation with x. So, after multiplying with x, this is I, I will get it over here. Simply, I have multiplied this whole equation with, with x. So, I have got this one on the right hand side also, this x I have got multiplied over here. I will call it is equation 2. Now, uh, one more time I will differentiate equation 1, but now with respect to y partially differentiate I will do it. So, same thing, same equation I will uh, differentiate it here. Equation 1 I will differentiate, but here it will be uh, with respect to y. So, again I will write it here x into del z by del x plus y into del z by del y which is equal to n z. So, now with respect to y we will be differentiating. So, first term will be as it is x vaise hi aajayega del z by del x ka differentiation with respect to y ho jayega del square z upon del x del y ye del y yahan pe aa jayega because we are differentiating with respect to y and uh, chain rule we are applying it over here plus second term will be as it is del z by del x and uh, first uh, this one will differentiation of x will be zero so we will not write that because the whole function will become zero so, this is the application of chain rule for the first term. Now, similarly I will apply chain rule for the second term also. So, first, first is y, y will be as it is differentiation of del z by del y which is second term it will become del square z upon del y square plus second term which is del z by del y or uh, first term ka derivative y ka derivative with respect to y 1 a jayega. So, simply I have used chain rule for first term which is here and chain rule for this second term which is in this square bracket. Simple application of chain rule. Now, on the right hand side I will go n is constant kept it as it is z ka differentiation partial differentiation with respect to y del z by del y I have done it. Now, simply I have removed the brackets. So, the whole uh, the, all the three terms I will get it. However, I have shifted the del z by del y on the right hand side so that it will be easy and this uh, second order terms I kept it on the left hand side and I have taken this del z by del y common. So, it became n minus 1. This term I have shifted on this side and I have taken it out common so that it came n minus 1. Now, if you look at the Euler's theorem's proof, they are asking us to multiply it with y. So, this along with this double second order this one uh, differentiation, there it is y square over here. So, here we have we have received here y. So, we have to multiply with y so that we will get that y square term. So, simply I have done, I have multiplied this equation which we received here on this step with y. So, that we can uh, further proceed for simplification. So, after multiplication I will get this equation. I called it as equation 3 because uh, I have to put it, I have to add this uh, to with the equation 2. Equation 2 hamara wo tha jisme humne partial differentiation with respect to x kiya tha second order partial differentiation and after multiplying with x we have received that equation which we call that equation 2. Us equation ke saath hamara jo last equation mein jo ye wala hai jo second uh, after second order partially differentiate with respect to y jo hume mila hai and after multiplying with y we got this. We added these two equations. So, on the whole left hand side if you will see you will get all second order terms. And the uh, right hand side of this equation we just got uh, in terms of del z by del, del x and del z by del y. So, if you go for uh, further simplification this n minus 1 n minus 1 we clearly see this is something 
uh, we can pull that out common from the RHS. So in the bracket after taking out n minus 1 common this whole thing in the left hand side will be as it is. Uh, so simply this one will come in the bracket that is uh, that's, that is what we did other than that left hand side the whole left hand side is as it is. And we know very well what we what is this is this is nothing but the Euler's theorem of first order that is what we call it right x into del z by del x plus uh, y into del z by del y which is nothing but n into z. This was our first order Euler's theorem with two variables. So, for this whole bo box for whole this bracket what we can write it is just simply n z. So, I have just substituted that left the whole left hand side I kept it as it is this box is also as it is only for the square bracket I have replaced with n z by using the Euler's theorem. This is from equation 1 equation 1 is nothing but that is uh, Euler's theorem. So, after that I just uh, got this one this this is just simple rearrangement of the RHS and this is nothing but the Euler's second order theorem. So, hope uh, you understood here we have used we have started if I, I will go through quickly I will go through all the steps here. So, first of all we consider this Euler's theorem in first order for two variables and we differentiated this with respect to x. Uh, then we multiplied this with x because we this is, uh, theorem is telling about x square term and this is y square we are looking for. That is the reason after getting del z by del x after rearranging equation I have multiplied with x so that I will get terms in x square. Similarly, after differentiating with y I have multiplied that with y and I got del z by del u's value and simply I have added these two equations and for the RHS I just took out some few n terms common so that I will get the final answer uh, in terms of uh, second order uh, terms. This is nothing but the Euler second order theorem. I hope you understood it very well. Uh, it will be quite easy to understand if you understand the first order uh, Euler's theorem how to uh, use it and how to prove it. So, if you understand it clearly you will be able to solve the questions very easily. Thank you.